you can get it. Amen. You can make it. Jesus. Because you have the will in God. Yes, not by your mind. Jesus. Not by your power. Jesus. Not by your income. Jesus. Not by your effort. Jesus. But there is a willing God. Amen. Living inside you. Who is ready mm. to help you. Amen. All the time. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to say to you. That this week. God will enlarge your body. Amen. This week, as you listen to me, Jesus. I declare over your life Jesus. that God will increase your finances. Amen. This week, you will shine in the way you go to. This week, you will find favor Jesus. before God. Amen. And any man you come into contact with. This week will be your testimony Amen. with me. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. This week, people will see you and know mm. and say Jesus. that of the truth you said the living God. Amen. Let it be so in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. I want to share shortly with you on the topic I have called There is a willing God ready to help you. And I'm reading from Matthew chapter 8 from verses 1 to 3. And when he was come down from the mountain, great multitude followed him. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Praise God. Listen, this was a man who had been declared an outcast. This was a man without a home. A leprous man, a deserted man, a man that nobody regarded, a man that had been leader for a long time. Nobody went to him, nobody said anything to him, nobody visited him, nobody gave him a gift because they have thrown him out of the town. He was living far away from the town. He was declared unclean, an outcast, useless, hopeless. And the Bible said because of his condition, they knew that Jesus knew about him. But still, because of the way people have deserted him and threw him out, he went to Jesus. He said, Jesus, Jesus. Have you also thrown me out? Oh, am I fit to be healed? Am I fit to be cleansed? Or oh, you have also declared me an outcast? Are you willing? Are you ready to help me? And Jesus said to me, Yes, I will. And the Bible says, Jesus touched him. And immediately, not the next day, not days after, yes, but immediately, there and then, that was a powerful miracle. Jesus. Uncommon miracle. Amen. This man got cleansed. And his joy became full. May you be touched wherever you are. Amen. Jesus will touch that very need of yours this moment. Amen. He will touch your finances. He will touch everything around you. Listen, anything that God touches, there's always a change in that thing. Maybe you have also been declared an outcome. Mm. Nobody remembers you. Even people who have promised you have forgotten you. 
that they are promising. People who have been helping you have even thrown you out. Listen, God will touch you now. I say he will touch you now. Amen. He will testify of his goodness. Jesus. He will touch that seven need, that pressing need, Jesus. that steady of your need, Amen. that do that is impossible. Amen. Jesus will touch that Amen. And there will be a way out. He's still a miracle worker. He's still doing miracles. I'm not talking about next year. Ma, this year, it is your year. God will touch you. Amen. And make you whole. Amen. And your joy will be free. May God bless you. I declare over your life that you are not dead. Yes, There's a change in your life, Jesus. a change in your destiny, Amen. a change in every area of your life. Amen. Every element in this week, Jesus. if it is the sun that is going to shine, hey. the, the moon that you are going to see, Jesus. the wind, whatever, is going to speak in your face. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are blessed Amen. in every area of your life. I say you are blessed in every area. Amen. I say you are blessed in every area of your life. Amen. Remain blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen.